so you've seen the title and you've seen the thumbnail. And yeah, this video is going to be explaining and showing to you exactly what weapons are new to the game. Now, I might miss out on some of these because obviously we don't have a list at, uh, for these uh, quite yet. You've just seen the other videos with the helm.gg has got a lot of them displayed. But unfortunately for this, we don't have any uh, displayed weapon list as of yet. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, let me know in the comments down below, especially the helm. If you're there, just message me on Discord or something so I can obviously post an updated version. But I'm going to go over what I believe is all of the weapons that are currently uh, in the game right now. Uh, or the new ones that have been added to the game and exactly how to get them. So to start off with, obviously, we're going to head over here to Yanita Nara um, because this is where you'll find a majority of the new weapons and where you'll be able to buy them. So head straight into the black market. When you're in the black market, open it up and uh, head down. You will see the first new weapon that you can purchase is here, the Foley Ilze. I'm not too sure how you say that. Um, I haven't made a build of this yet. Some people are saying it's really good. I'm not too sure on it. Let me know in the comments down below. But we can see here the main reason people like it. Because for one, it does good damage with good reload speed. But two is the perk ricochet. Hits that land on a ship's hull or structure ricochets towards nearby target. Dealing 75% of original damage. So obviously we know what a ricochet means. Now when you shoot an, an enemy ship with this cannon. 75% of the damage that you dealt to that hit. Uh, which obviously counts to every single bullet that hit will reflect off to another ship so it kind of works like a burning effect when you burn one ship on a sandbook it sets the ablaze to all the ships near to it well this does that but apart from you don't get the damage buff from the ablaze but it's really good in that sense. Then it's got piercing free, so it adds 30% of damage. As piercing damage, increase damage to weak points by 100% as well. So if you're hitting weak points, um, yeah, you're going to be doing a lot, and this will be able to take out sails pretty quick from a close if you want to keep people stuck in the water. So this cannon, I'm not too sure on. Let me know in the comments down below if you've figured out a build of it. Put, put your build uh, in the video below if you've got it. Now, the, the next weapon we've got actually here, so I can't show you this one because this isn't the main one. You've got this, the Endless Requiem, which the new torpedoes, and they are homing. They actually lock onto your target. They don't work as well as they should. But obviously, it does help with them redirecting themselves a little bit, meaning you don't have to completely aim it right at your opponent. So here, the torpedoes, as we know, do a lot of damage. But one, they do flooding damage. This one doesn't do explosive damage. Um, but you can see projectiles homing on a hostile target. Quick arming increases damage from torpedoes by 150% when the target is beyond uh, 75 meters. So... Yeah, as long as they're beyond 75 meters and it hits, you're going to get an additional 150% damage. Now, looking at your traditional torpedoes, they've got like the arm in, so increased damage from torpedoes when the target is beyond 100 meters. So the homing does more damage in that sense, um, but it, the perks on the ramas and that is deals an increased amount of damage for every simultaneous hit. So if your shots are constantly hitting, you're going to get more and more damage. So they do hit harder. However, this is like a no-brainer. You could have a snow brace build where you're constantly braced, fire your torpedoes and forget about it and carry on bracing. So there will be a build. And obviously with the snow having the extra 20% damage buff, it's going to be pretty cool. Not something I've put together yet. But you can obviously buy these 350 sovereigns as well as the the full isle or whatever they're called uh, for that. Now, my favorite one currently in uh, the um, black market is the Warhammer Rockets. If you have not got these, make sure you get them. They hit like an absolute flipping truck. They are absolutely amazing. I couldn't recommend them enough. As you can see, they're the damage. Let's look at just... I know they're rocket ones. We shouldn't be able to put them up against them. But let's just say the Warhammer does 19,396 damage. It doesn't fire as many shots, so it makes it really easy to aim. It's got the same reload time as the other rockets, um, but it's just the fire rate is not as fast. It fires a volley of 10 heavy rockets instead of many smaller rockets. Also got a bit more of area of effect because they're explosive, uh, which makes it really good because you can see normal rockets are not explosive but these are explosive so really good yet again for an explosive build and it adds burning one which adds 10 percent of damage as burning damage so these are not the greatest to set off uh like burning but if the ship is ablaze and then you drop this on them you watch people's health just absolutely sink it is so 
flipping awesome guys um let's come out and let's go into my ship inventory and guys if you're not part of the discord join the discord discord.gg forward slash death squad the e is a free the best skull and bones community on the internet and the best gaming community on the internet also i go live on tuesdays and thursdays on twitch.tv so come on over right weapons uh if we go into here and we look at weapons obviously, obviously the karens are from the last season but this season we got the picare freeze which are a new weapon you can get these you can get multiple of these as long as you farm le pest himself and from the le pest lockers and killing him you've got a chance of getting this to drop so it does a lot of damage for one. Uh, if you look at this against the long nines, oh, that's a fire long gun, my bad. If we look at a long nine, where are you long nines? There's a long nine, 2904. The new Picare long guns hit 3217. Not only are they hitting that, they've got a perk called Toxic Free, which hits from this weapon, saps crew stamina and adds 20% damage that cannot be blocked by bracing. Flipping awesome, hey guys. That is amazing. So if you're going against snow builds, this might be the counter. We've yet to make a build with it, but it's pretty cool. It's got piercing too, so it adds 20% of damage. It's piercing damage and increases damage to weak points by 75%. So this is an absolute stomper of a weapon, but I've not made a build of it yet. The season's only been out a little while. If you've got a build of it, then obviously let us know in the comments down below. Is there any more new weapons this season that we know about? I am not too sure. We've obviously, maybe in the auxiliaries, yes, there is. So one of them being obviously the Little Grace 2, Repair 2, it's got on it. So it obviously fires the boys so you know um, what how they work. You fire them and it creates an area of effect and greater restoration of whole health of, of a friendly ship. So these are healing boys. You drop it in the sea and it constantly repairs people uh, constantly, which is really, really flipping good. Then we go down and we've got the Mine Spring Loader 2. Uh, which has got damage, and it's also got flooding damage on it. It's flooding damage too, so if you're doing a flooding build, yet again, this might be the one you want uh, because you want that flooding uh, to proc. Now, you're not too bothered, obviously, about the damage it does, but it's mainly for the flooding. Then, the one that you get from the end of the season per pass is the Infernal Moor. This is great for a fire build. However, I have not mastered it yet. Everyone reckons this is better than the Warhammer for the Zambuk, but I can't figure it out. So if you think this is better, let me know down below as well. I'd, I'd appreciate uh, your insight as to why as well. So deployed boys erupt into a fire explosion when destroyed, dealing 300% damage and instantly causing targets to be set ablaze. So as you can see there, it instantly sets targets ablaze. And obviously deals 300% damage. Um, so yeah, if you uh, place the boy down, as I'm trying, sorry, I was trying to figure out what, what I meant by it. You place the boys down, and then you shoot the boys when they're in the water. They blow up. All of them blow up, and it causes mega amounts of damage. Um, but the only problem is this doesn't actually work to the sandbox's uh, uh, like advantage because the sandbox every time you set a ship ablaze, it does damage. When you do this, it doesn't cut class as you setting it ablaze. It classes the infernal more setting them to a blaze. So it might be better for a different blaze build and not so much the sandbox build. But here you can see it's got burning free, adds thirty percent of damage as burning damage as well. So this is a really really cool weapon. Uh, I'm yet to figure it out. So guys, I think I've personally gone over every single armor, furniture, and weapon that is in the game now. If you do know of any other weapons. Uh, that are in the game and I haven't covered them, please let me know in the comments down below uh, or let me know in the Discord. Just tag me at Deathwish. The E is a free and I'd really like to hear about it. So yeah, like, follow, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.